welcome to another edition of Beer 30. My name is Greg. Hey, I'm Josh. Today we've got a beer that is, well, expensive. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit anxious about trying this beer, Greg. Um, so we've got a Braxis from Perennial Artisan Ales. Um, you want to tell a little story about it? Well, um, Perennial. <laughs> Perennial is a small batch craft brewery focusing on seasonal beers with locally sourced ingredients, farmhouse releases, and barrel aged varieties. It says we brew our beers with the adventurous craft drinker in mind. Uh, now they're from St. Louis. Uh, they came they came out, what was it? They were founded in 2011. 2011 shortly after they came out, they came they brought their their Braxis out and it rated a hundred on Beer Advocate, right? Which is crazy. Okay, so we're gonna try. This is their third year of having it, and uh, we're gonna pop this big boy open. So Braxis is an imperial stout brewed with ancho chilies, cocoa nibs, vanilla beans, and cinnamon sticks. Okay, I'm. This is a yeah. It looks like a little motor oil there. I'm just gonna pour some little glasses because this is okay. You don't want me to drink much of it because you paid a lot of money for it, right? Well, okay, we, we figured it out before we turned on the camera. And so this is actually equal to about a little over two normal sized beers. It was 20 bucks, about 25 ounces. So a dollar an ounce. Close to. Yeah, that's. Pretty nutty. That's, that's that's outside of my normal yeah. price range. But well, what? So okay. you went you went to actually get this from yeah. the, from the brewery. We went up there, just small little tasting room, uh, built out of an old Coca Cola plant. Hmm. I definitely smell. You can smell the dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Coffee. And alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it smells like Grandpa's cough medicine. <laughs> it's very dark. Yeah. There's no sense to that. Uh, very thick looking. Syrupy. Alright. Here we go. So you've had this before, right? I actually tried it right before you. Because when I make a twenty dollar investment, <laughs> I need I need to try it test first. It I need to test it and see if I want to make the investment. Uh, so actually trying it there, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get a bottle of this. It's it's good enough. It it it, it tastes good. It uh, I taste mostly the dark chocolate. That's what I get the most of. Yeah. I have to admit, I was really skeptical. Um, I think I was telling you earlier that, you know, that's a lot of money for a beer, in my opinion. Um, but after tasting it, I mean, man, it's like, a, it's, it's very thick, but yet smooth. Yeah. It's, it almost seems, to me, it's more like, like a whiskey or a hard liquor. Like, you're not gonna, I don't know, I've seen people, when we went there, there were people drinking big old, big old things of them, and uh, they had no problem getting a bunch down. To me, this is more to my speed, beer. drink a couple, you know, like, little sipping, kind of like on whiskey or something like that. And it is 10% um, alcohol. Yeah. You can tell, it, it, warm, it warms the guts. <laughs> it does. So this is a special release. Um, what it's only come, only comes out this time of the year. Yeah, they're out of bottle. Actually, when we went there, it was was it the second week that they had them? Oh, they got so they had, it's been around since uh, the end of October, and uh, there was only we went there last weekend, and they only which would only be like maybe a month later. And they only had 25 bottles left when we went. So, and yeah, I should have gone now. I hadn't even heard about it until a few weeks ago, but um, apparently in the 
much larger or craft beer community. There's, it's very popular and um, the lines are out the door and or around the building. Yeah. People are trying to uh, get their hands on this stuff because it's very short supply. Yeah, and they made a coffee version of this too. That sold out right away. They're out of that. Um, but yeah, lines, there were tons of lines. When I went there, there was a, there was a lady there from Philadelphia. Wow. She knew all about it. She's like, oh yeah, we have this Philly Brew Fest and man, we get to try that. And I was here on business. I was so excited they had this. Wow. Like, it's so weird because we live in the community and... 20 miles south. Yeah, we don't live that far away and I don't know, maybe... We're learning, Greg. We're learning, I guess. <laughs> we're, we've reached a, a, another level here. But it's definitely a very good... It, it's a double in, imperial stout. Right. I mean, it is... It, it's good, thick, flavorful. Um, I, it's probably, probably the best beer I've ever had. Really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, it's, it's like what I think a beer should be. You know, you're always just a little bit lacking something. Like, you can always say, well, that wasn't, it wasn't creamy enough. And I can, enough. Yeah, I could even, I think I like it, this last drink I just had, I think with it warming up, mm -hmm. it just gets better. Yeah. It, it almost we only we chilled it for a little bit in the freezer, but I don't think it needs it. You know, to be honest, and you really, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Greg, I gotta have just a little bit. Let more. me have. All right, you owe me. You owe me about ten bucks at least. <laughs> well, so I think you know what I would give it. I think it's great. I think it's an A, A plus. Really, I'm gonna give it an A plus. Unheard of. Um, I'm with you too. I think an A. Maybe not. I think I probably, if I would have tried the coffee, I think that would have probably ranked a little bit higher. But it is freaking excellent. You're probably gonna have to wait till next year to get a bottle of it. But you can go to if you're in the St. Louis area, you can go up to the tasting room and try it. They have it on tap still. So anyway, there you go. A expensive beer from us and. Uh, now we're uh, hoity-toity. <laughs> We've raised the level, we raised the bar, so everything else is going to taste like crap. Yep. Alright. See you next time. Yeah. <laughs> we can keep that in. <laughs> hey everyone, I got a <laughs> <laughs>